mild tricuspid regurgitation is often noted on echocardiogram reports and sometimes causes a little bit of worry and a lot of questions are asked on mild tricuspid regurgitation what is this mild tricuspid regurgitation this is a schematic diagram of the heart in which you can see right atrium right ventricle left atrium left ventricle aorta and pulmonary artery and mild tricuspid regurgitation is just a small leak from the tricuspid valve normally the tricuspid valve is expected to close fully and prevent back leak of blood from the right ventricle to right atrium when the right ventricle contracts but even in nearly normal persons there could be a little bit of leak in the tricuspid valve unlike the valves on the left side like the mitral and aortic right sided valves can have some leak that is in the right atrium there can be some backflow from the right ventricle that is known as mild tricuspid regurgitation similarly another right sided valve is the pulmonary valve there could also be some mild leak in the pulmonary valve both these in normal persons similar leaks on the left side are less that is mild mitral regurgitation and mild aortic regurgitation are less common then these mild tricuspid leaks are not seen on clinical examination mostly they are detected only on highly sensitive tests like echocardiogram in echocardiogram the doppler beam can detect this small leak this is an echocardiogram echocardiogram is an ultrasound imaging of the heart you can see the heart contracting here very well this is the septal tricuspid leaflet and this is the anterior mitral leaflet it is in the open position now left ventricle is seen here you can see a jet of uh, color here blue color that is tricuspid regurgitation jet you can see that the jet is flowing from the right ventricle to the right atrium 